WFNN. Headline News Update. Welcome, folks, to the 4 p.m. stock market update. This is Jacob Shoup filling in for Tom O'Brien. Uh, let's take a look at where we ended the day. The E-mini is currently trading at 5211. Uh, that spies at 517 currently. Uh, Russell futures up about 0.16%. NQs flat. Uh, the YMs flat as well. That gold contract down slightly. Now, uh, I was just on with Tim Ord of the Ord Oracle. Uh, you can check the archive of that on our YouTube channel uh, shortly after the end of the day here. I strongly recommend he was speaking a little bit about gold as well as some silver equities. Uh, silver is trading at 27.51, copper at 4.59, and now crude oil is sideways still. And we are lower, right? And I was anticipating an upward movement to around 90. In fact, we were at down from 87.67. All the way to 78.49, and that is on America producing a ton of oil. Still Dynamics at 132.71, and Tesla down about almost 4% for the day, 3.8% at 177.71. Let's see, Disney's finishing off the day uh, still considerably lower from where it started. We are at 105.30, down 9.6%. Uh, Let's see what else got slammed today. Of course, we had Nikola. That is down 5.43%. Expectations for the first quarter revenue on Tuesday is the electric truck maker uh, missed, essentially. Uh, the company reported revenue of $7.5 million, missing expectations of $15.8 million. Uh, pretty intense. It delivered 75 of its hydrogen fuel cell trucks in the first two quarters of production and completed the delivery of its reworked battery truck at the end of the first quarter. A uh, bunch of delays. Still getting nailed. Revenue from the company's trucks fell 26%, despite ramping up production on its hydrogen big rigs. Its net loss stood at about $147 million. It's a little bit smaller now. This is from a reduction of operating expenses. Nicholas Cash, cash equivalents out of the first quarter was $345 million, and that is down from $464, so not a good sign for this company uh, whatsoever. Uh, Palantir as well, which is just infinitely infuriating. Because you'd think, like, come on, man, you're selling AI to the U.S. military. Anyways, folks, this weekend, excuse me, this Friday, we have the third edition of Live Trading Fridays with Larry Pesavento. Go ahead, get in there, come trade with us at 9 a.m. Eastern Time. I hope you all have a great rest of your day.